All right, hey, it's Mike. Thanks for tuning back in. Today's Tuesday. I think I'm gonna end up posting this tomorrow because I like the Sunday, Wednesday, Friday schedule. Um, plus I'm really busy tomorrow. So um, this is something I was thinking about since I posted the TTM video, what was that, Sunday, I think. Uh, and because I've just picked up a couple more autographs. First of all, got this one. Mr. Duran of the Red Sox, he is tearing it up and it was next to nothing. It's a 2022, so it's not his rookie, but it was just a few dollars, really, really cheap for this autograph of a guy who <clears throat> uh, is tearing it up for the Red Sox. So I figured, why not? This is the bigger one though. This is the Frank Thomas score rookie, 1990 autographed and it's slabbed by PSA in a PSA 8 autograph authenticated and so I've been thinking about a lot about this so Frank Thomas charges $100 for an autograph if you want to send him he does I don't think he does TTM no actually I know he doesn't do TTM but you can you can send your card off to a private signing for 100 bucks and he'll send it back autographed um, and then so there's 100 bucks that you've spent, plus the card, maybe a buck for this card, right? And uh, then you send that card off to PSA and you're gonna spend 50 or more dollars to get it slabbed with the card graded and the auth uh, autograph authenticated. So you're at 150 bucks at least, plus shipping, insurance, whatever. This card cost me 30 something dollars shipped. Now. It's not worth 150, the 150 plus that it would have cost for me to do it myself. But that's a huge disparity between what I would pay if I had done it myself and what I paid for it off of eBay. So what is better? And I got thinking, how much is that how, how much does that disparity need to be? Should it be zero? Should it be 5%, 10% for me to want to do it myself. I enjoy doing it myself. I like doing TTM. I like sending cards off to private auctions. I feel like I feel more ownership over those cards. Um, but it's impossible to ignore that this was one quarter the cost of what I would have paid if I had done it myself. Now, I, I prefer to have the 1990 Tops Frank Thomas autographed, but that one's like twice as much money as this one, that, that one's going for about 80 bucks or so. Uh, but that's just, I'm not gonna pay 80 bucks for Frank Thomas autograph, even on a 1990 Tops, which is the more desirable card to get autographed. But then, you know, I started looking at other players. Um, if I wanna get a Pedro Martinez, my all-time favorite player, 150 bucks through private signing, doesn't do TTM, 150 bucks. Uh, his rookie card is a dollar, just like Frank Thomas. It's junk wax, 1991, uh, or is it 92, 91, I think. And so, actually, there are two of them. One of them, of it's a close up of his face, and then another one of them pitching. I think one of them is 91, 92, and the other one's 92. Anyway, uh, so Pedro Martinez, 150 bucks for an autograph, and then. So and then another 50-ish for the grade, probably more than that, probably closer to 100, because you gotta pay, I think $35 for the Pedro Martinez autograph authentication, plus another 30 to 50 to get the card itself graded. If you just, let's just say just the authentication, $35 plus the shipping, let's say you're at 200 bucks between the card autographed and the authentication. So you just wanna get slabbed and authenticated by PSA. 200 bucks. You can get a Pedro Martinez rookie PSA authenticated for 120. Now, that's not your childhood card that you owned as a kid. That's not a card that you bought and paid for and got signed by Pedro. Doesn't matter. I I don't think it does. I would rather have the significantly cheaper one, the heavily discounted Pedro rookie autographed than that. Um, if it were the same price, I'd rather do it myself. If Pedro rookies were going for $200, then I'd probably do it myself. It's more fun. I enjoy it, more ownership over it. 
Then there are the ones that are scarce, like Bob Cousy Rookie Auto. Where did I put my Cousy Rookie? Here it is. Cousy Rookie Auto. I'm going to show this a lot. Just get used to it. It's I'm most proud of this card. 1957 tops, autographed, authenticated, auto 10. This is a rare beast. It cost me a lot of money, but it's worth probably three to four times what I paid for it in all, in all. So that's obviously worth it. If I wanted to go and buy this on eBay right now, it would cost me $1,500 to $2,000, which it's worth it because a lot of people are paying that. But same thing with my Sandy Koufax. I bought this for 20 bucks. Got it authenticated for 35. So I had, I've got $75 into it, basically. Uh, you want this card? It's more than $1,000 on eBay. And yes, I have a security system for my home. Um, now, I think if you look at somebody like uh, Jim Palmer, who's still alive and does TTM, and he doesn't charge a lot for it either. Uh, I think he charges $40. Andre Dawson, another good example, charges $10 for TTM. Do you, is it better for Andre Dawson to just do TTM with him? 10 bucks? I don't do multiple car, no multiple player rookie cards if that player has a rookie cup card. Andre Dawson has a rookie cup card, so I would actually have that one signed just like I did with Jim Rice and, and Fred Lynn, which I should get back in the mail tomorrow. Uh, I prefer the rookie cup cards over guys who had multiple players on their rookie cards. Uh, Andre Dawson ro rookie cup card goes for $70 autographed on eBay with a PSA slab. I can get that card autographed for 10 bucks. So, but then, then I've got to get it PSA slabbed if I want to. Now, then you have to wonder, is it worth getting an Andre Dawson slabbed and authenticated? I know it's him who signed it, unless he's has a history of ghost signing, which he doesn't, unlike Shaquille O'Neal, who all of his TTM autographs are ghost signed. So, Andre Dawson, I'm happy to have a 10, a $10 TTM auto from him. I don't need that authenticated. I don't need to pay that money. I would only pay for guys that I really, really want to see authenticated, like, uh, or, or preserved, like Sandy Koufax, like um, Pedro Martinez, uh, Ted Williams. I have one off with PSA DNA right now. Getting authenticated of Ted Williams, Ken Griffey Jr. So the the inner circle guys, Bob Cousy, but Andre Dawson is a Hall of Famer, but he's not an inner circle Hall of Famer, and I don't need to see that slabbed and authenticated. Here I've got Bill Mazeroski autographed through TTM, which I didn't pay a dime for. Do I need that one authenticated? No. I have Wade Boggs, same thing. Gaylord Perry autographed rookie. Don't need to get that authenticated. I enjoy having these cards signed. Joan Benoit Samuelson, which you can't see up there. I did a video on that one when that came back in. So I guess it's just personal preference. Do I pay the extra? Uh, to have like Frank Thomas, for instance, I would not, if I were to get Frank Thomas's card autographed myself through private signing for a hundred bucks, I wouldn't send it off to PSA. That's just an unnecessary expense to me because I know it's authentic and I don't need it slapped. I would just put it in a top loader and I'd be perfectly happy. But there's a hundred bucks. I got this for 30 something and it's already slabbed. It's a great deal. It's smart collecting. And I'm very curious what you guys do with autographs. If you get autographs, do they need to be slabbed? Do they need to be authenticated? Um, would you pay extra to have it done yourself rather than buy one already completed on eBay? 
While we're here, please subscribe if you're not already. I do have a video coming up this week. It is the video about how I got to 1,000 subscribers in under a year. It's also kind of a history of my channel. I'll go through that a little bit. And um, in about 10 days, I'm going to a card show. In a month, I'll be at the National. Got a lot of cool stuff coming out. I have literally dozens of ideas for videos. So throw me a subscribe, click that bell icon so you get the notifications, and I appreciate it. Thanks for watching.